I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the Executioner Wasp. Here we go. It's been about an hour and a half since you were stung by the Executioner Wasp. Tell us how it is right now. Has it really been that long? Oh yeah. Uh, you laid down right here on the uh, tile for like 40 minutes. Ugh, oh, my whole arm is on fire and like all up and down like in my joint right there. Man, what a wallop. I barely even remember the walk back, but it was uh... It was arduous to say the least. My arm is just like screaming in pain still. It's uh... Your face is swollen around your eyes. You know, it was like the sort of intense pain. I almost cried. I think I almost cried like within the first couple minutes of the sting. It was that bad. Oh my God, that hurts. So let me try to explain to you guys what's going on with my arm right now. So my hand feels really hot and it's kind of tough to squeeze my hand. The actual sting zone, which is right here, is incredibly sensitive to the touch. Like you just push on it a little bit and it, it feels like a really, really deep bruise. So that was the venom attacking my cells. There's the actual spot where the stinger went in. You see that little red mark? Zoom in there. And like most wasp species, they don't uh, lose their stinger, so the stinger is back in the animal. And uh, look here, this like, my veins in this area are also very, very tight. Look, it almost looks like there's a blo broken blood vessel. Like a secondary swelling. Yeah, like right there. And it was like the venom immediately got to about there on my arm. Hey Mario, would you do me a favor? Will you grab my bag? I'm gonna put some sting kill on my arm just to see if that helps with the burning at all. Cause it's like, oh man, it's like super warm on my face. I'm gonna try, <clears throat> get some sting kill on my arm here. See if that helps with the burning. I'm gonna just go ahead and bypass the uh, sting wipes and go straight for the capsule for relief at this point. So can you walk us through what you can remember, like right after this thing? Um, yeah, I mean, it hit me like the tarantula hawk sting, where I described it as being like electrical current, almost like if you've been, you know, you rub your socks on the ground in the winter and then you touch somebody, it's a really, boom, like electrical shock. That's what the sting felt like initially. Then the onset burning, I think I described it as feeling like your skin getting peeled off of your body. So where the warrior wasp felt like pins and needles and the bullet ant felt like somebody taking a hot poker and sticking it into your arm, this is like flesh peeled back. No, I don't know what it feels like to have flesh peeled back, but I can imagine that this is what it is. Ugh, oh, it's muddy down there. Get that crushed up, there we go. Sting kill. Can you go up against the executioner wasp? Find out. Ow. Ow. Man. Ow. Ooh. Ow, man, my skin is just like burning. And that's honestly not providing much relief, to be honest with you. It just hurts to touch the skin on my arm. I'm gonna not even do that. Feel cool to your skin? Nope. My arm is burning it. It's actually, the skin is super sensitive. Describe what the stinger looked like. Was, I mean, it took a few pokes, if you will, for it to actually give you a sting. Yeah, it was feeling around, and then it's like it got really angry. It fluttered its wings, and it got its abdomen curled underneath and just 
I couldn't see it. I don't know if you guys actually caught it on camera or not. I could just feel it like a hot hypodermic needle just <laughs> pierced under my skin. It was interesting is that it went in an angle, not so much straight down. When the bullet ant stung me, you know, the stinger went in and then it kind of got itself stuck. It spun around a circle and and then let go. But this, it was it was at an angle, and I don't know if that has something to do with how much my skin hurts around this area right here. But man, it's it's just intense. I feel super out of it. Um, you know when you can feel a like a fever coming on and your body's real weak and if you try to walk up like the flight of stairs in your house your legs aren't like giving you all of their oomph? That's how my whole body feels right now. It feels very drained and that's probably because it's my, you know, adrenaline and my body fighting off the venom. You know, all of the blood cells around there are being attacked. So uh, it's, it's my body trying to centralize the venom and, and fight it off and dilute it. And um, I just feel really out of it and really weak right now, really weak in my hand. It's tough to make a fist. I have a lot of pain right here at the joint of my, my elbow. Um, and just my forearm is just in searing pain right now. As far as your curiosity goes, like, are you gonna continue to see if there's anything more painful out there? Or where does this go? I mean, the fact that the warrior wasp did not top the bullet ant, I was kind of like, is the sequel ever as good as the original? But in a trilogy, is the third one better than the first? I mean, I don't know, we'll see what this cuts into, but yeah, for me personally, and the experience I've gone through, this pain has been the most intense, and I'm still going through it right now. It's been an hour and 45 minutes since the sting, and it is, it is excruciating. Um, and we have a new top five now in the insect sting pain index, and for me, it goes like this. Velvet ant, warrior wasp, tarantula hawk, bullet ant, and last, certainly not least, it is fair to say that we should all bend the knee because there is a new king on the throne, and that king is called the executioner wasp. <sighs> My arm hurts so bad right now. The only thing I want to do is go in, lay in the air conditioning, and get a cold bottle of water. Hey, I, I gotta remind you of something. Yeah. You know, Michael Jordan came out of retirement once but he also came out of retirement twice. <laughs> Is there a chance he'll come out again? I don't know, guys. I think I'm done when it comes to stings. The Executioner Wasp is king. All hail the new king. And um, yeah, I've learned a lot. And I think there has to be an end to the journey. And for me, at least at this point, I think it's safe to say that the Executioner Wasp is the top. It is the king. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see on the next location. <laughs> if you missed the painfully entertaining conclusion to my climb up the insect sting pain index, make sure to go back and watch Stung by an Executioner Wasp. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure. Ah, you little devil! Ah, oh, the Executioner lives up to its names! <laughs> <laughs>